Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working on this bit of a highway intersection right here and in the previous episodes I've said to you guys that I really don't like how it's laid out. It takes up a lot of space and in the next episode this area here is actually going to be where I'm going to start designing a new town. So first of all we need to get this fixed up because like I said it takes up a lot of space and I want to do something that is a lot more compact uh, and something that looks a little bit more stylish so let's go now for this highway I actually designed on paper what I want to do because I didn't want to go into it thinking oh what am I gonna do I don't know what I'm gonna do I'll just have to see how it turns out no I actually have a plan what I want to do so right now I'm just measuring out roughly where I want the highways to go but Parts of the highway are actually going to be underneath the ground, but I still need to lay out the highway um, just to have a general idea of the direction of the road so I can easily just demolish bits that go underneath the ground or so forth. Um, so this part here, I actually raised up the ground so we could actually have an easy tunnel entrance and you'll notice throughout this whole build, I'm going to be doing little tunnel entrances like that. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of well, you'll get to see just some other little details that I don't usually do in cities. So I left a space between these two parts of the highway so you can see the land is above it. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted there not to be a highway that's going to pretty much split the new town into two sides. So by having the highway under the ground in certain parts just basically allows for easier connection of the highway instead of having to do uh, roads that go underneath the highway or go over or tunnels and stuff like that It's just easier to have things under, underneath the ground and you'll notice well if you're familiar with my channel I don't usually do a lot of stuff underground because for me I'm always thinking is it very realistic if you do things underground because it's going to be quite Expensive to do but I thought I'd do something a little bit different something that I don't usually do which is going to be tunnels So this whole area it's going to be generally the same design but underground but there's also going to be something else which you guys will see me do towards the middle of the video. Since this is going to be a new town area, there's going to be a lot of the roads going underground. So a lot of the roads connecting up the other highways, highway connections. So everything that is underground will be a highway connecting to another highway and everything above ground will be connections to and off the highway if that makes sense um, and so I did actually already design out some of this area in the next episode and possibly I may give you guys a sneak peek of the next episode what it looks like already but like I said this whole area is going to be the start of a new town and it really does look really really cool I only did just a tiny little bit off camera because I was really excited to see how it looks and yeah it is pretty cool the only issue I had was I had to redo a lot of the highways on the kind of like the outer areas of this little area here and the highways get a little bit wonky so if you see a highway being looking a bit wonky in this video don't worry because I fixed it off fixed it up off camera um, sometimes I just hate doing the highway connect the making the highways flat because it's so annoying right it like gets so wonky um, this part here, you notice I added in the land, I raised it up a little bit, and I did that for something strategic, which you guys will see in a few minutes. Um, just, yeah, you'll, you'll see why I did that in a second. And um, I'm also going to be adding in a lot of, uh, what's it called, brick walls. So, since this is going to be a new downtown area, I wanted to use the brick wall areas to make it look a little bit more fancy instead of just using the ground as the wall barrier because a lot of these highways in this area are raised down, they're below the ground level which you can see and so this part now is where I'm going to do a lot of the highway connect connecting to the other highways and I just wanted to say a bit of a disclaimer when I do tunnels, I'm really not caring too much if the elevation of the tunnel isn't exactly smooth or if the road isn't exactly smooth either, um, which sounds bad, but the reason why I'm not too concerned about the layout of a tunnel is because we don't really see it and it's not really that important to fix up. Um, you guys will know that when I'm building roads above ground, I am quite precise on how I do it, but when it comes to tunnels, yeah, it doesn't really matter because you don't really see it, just as long as it works how you want it to work. So at the end of the video, you'll see that this 
it, it works fine even if the connections are a little bit wonky or the elevation di dips down a little bit but like who, who really cares it works fine um, if it was real life obviously it's going to be a lot more better than what I do but like I said I really don't care about tunnels that much so um, the highway that I just deleted is one of the parts that is very very wonky and uh, it was a nightmare to fix up. I fixed up a little bit in this video but I, have, I had to do most of it off camera but I didn't really do it very precise because not too, well, not too far in the future I'm going to redo this exact part right here because I'm going to need a new highway connection right there anyway so we'll fix that up a little bit more in the next few episodes. And so this is the, the brick walls that I was talking about that's making it look a little bit more fancy and do you guys like the look of how there's little bits of the highway showing? The reason why I did that is like just to, it's kind of like a, a centerpiece really, but also you could look at it as a cost point as well because tunnels are expensive so you could make the highway come out to save a little bit of money if you want, but really I just wanted to make it look just different from what I usually do because you could easily just do a tunnel all the way through here and not show any of the road but I thought doing the tunnel and then it coming out and then you can see the road it it makes it like a bit of a centerpiece it makes for something unique something different to build with instead of just doing a very easy layout with no no obstacles on this bit of land um, so this highway is now the obstacle to make it a little bit more interesting for you guys a little bit more interesting for me um, so that's, that's kind of why I, I did open up bits and pieces of the highway from the tunnel and towards the end you'll see that it actually suits the area quite well because in the, well I'm not going to say it yet, but I add in something that makes it look very f official and grand and the openings of the road really really look good so you'll just have to wait and see how it turns out. But if I'm happy with it, I'm sure you guys will be happy with it too. And then, so here I'm just going to do the same tunnel entrances or entrance exit, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and I wanted it to look like it goes partially into the side of that mountain just to blend it in a little bit. And originally I wasn't even going to do an episode of me building all of this because um, it's just roads, like I could really ex just go over it very quickly in the next episode, but I thought, you know what, I'll just go over it with me building it now because maybe it'll give you guys some inspiration to do something like this um, and unfortunately I can't upload this to the workshop because I don't know how to upload things that are partially in the ground like that like I don't, I don't know how to do it but you guys could easily get the inspiration to build something like this and this is the pretty much the last bit that I wanted to do so there's going to be a major roundabout up here which acts as the centerpiece for the whole surrounding town that will be in this area so in the middle of this roundabout there's going to be a really big monument that basically it just brings the whole area to together and it makes everything look really really cool and the monument it looks really cool because it's in line with that road right there that I'm connecting the road from and the exposed roads really make it look super cool makes it look really really I guess elegant and just very official and grand and I actually use I think one of the Washington monuments in the USA which seems a little odd because this is this is a Russian ex in inspired city right but who cares it looks cool and I just want to say also another disclaimer that those entrance and exit ramps right there they were a nightmare to do so throughout the whole video um, I don't know if I cut it out or left it in but there's a lot of me fiddling with it and you can see that part right there that I zoomed in on for some reason there's a weird triangle there that pops up I don't know why it's there I think it's just the angle I couldn't get rid of it because then it moves the whole roundabout makes it look really weird so we just have to live with it it's not really a big deal um, so yeah I forget what I was trying to say what my point was but anyway extending the the brick wall there to make it look really really grand and so this roundabout is basically acting as the connection for above ground traffic to connect to the the highways that go underground there and you might be thinking well Sam there's only you've only done two connections there what about all of the others well do you guys remember that elevated no do you guys remember that area that I actually built the terrain up over the highway right there actually no you guys will see in a second but I built that very specific area with where the ground goes up and over it's right there in the top left screen that is where all of the remaining connections will be they'll be underground uh, 
in that ground above the um, the highway but still underground because I just wanted to hide it and do something a little bit different instead of showing everything all the time because I'm always like in St. Petersburg and in Zulstadt, I always wanted to show everything above ground but now I'm going for something a little bit different because in the future, well in the near future, this whole area is going to be dense urban space. So we're not going to have a lot of space to build extremely extravagant highway connections. So this road here is going to act as the connection for the highway that goes underground right there and the design it's a very very basic design which I don't usually do because I try to do something more interesting but the design I do here it's simply on and off it's very very simple it's very very common but you just don't really see it in tunnels like it's very very simple it doesn't it doesn't even look that great but in a minute you'll see that I fix it up with the um, presidential, what is it called, that, that mod that allows you to change the directions of um, roads and stuff. So I made sure in that tunnel area that they, that they can only turn left. So it, I drive on the left in Australia, so make sure that they can only turn left. So then they cannot cross each other. So that way it basically splits the traffic. So half the traffic will come out of the one side of the tunnel, then the other half will come out of the other side of the tunnel. And they both have direct access to that large roundabout. And I'll specifically not add in any or hardly any road connections between the tunnel and that roundabout because I don't want there to be any disruption from the traffic coming off or entering the highway that want to get to that roundabout. So um, I guess this, this could easily go wrong if you're not very familiar with large amounts of traffic and urban areas really close to each other. But I think for me, I can say that I do have some experience. I do kind of know what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm confident that this will work in this area once this whole area is very built out and there's a lot of traffic going on. So from this angle here, it doesn't look like much, right? It, it looks really odd. But this is the monument that I was talking about. And trust me, once you see all of the buildings and the road design in this whole area, the monument looks really, really great. And so you can see that there is some cars in there. The cars are not connected to the roundabout. They actually have their own little um, driveway to get into the roundabout. So you can see I added in that one little road there that connects to the main road. And that is their only way in. And I think I banned cars in that whole area. I just want pedestrians in that area because it's a monument, you don't want too many cars coming in. So I think, yeah, I think it is a Washington monument and I left green blobs of space. And yeah, I mean, it's it's very, very white, isn't it? But it, it looks good. Once you see all the buildings, it really comes together. And I hope you guys can appreciate the value of the monument that it just really brings the whole area together. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back very, very soon with another video, probably tomorrow because, like I said, I have started building in this area. I did get a little carried away, but I hope you guys don't mind. But everything that I did off camera, which includes road design, placing um, different facilities and also placing buildings, I'll go through all of that at the start of the next episode so you guys can really see what I've done. Um, and I apologize for getting a little carried away off camera. I didn't do too much, but I mean, you guys, I know you like to see me do everything on camera. So thank you guys for watching, and I shall be back very soon with another episode. Bye for now, guys. Just kidding, this is not the end. So if you guys made it to the end, I'm actually going to show you guys a little clip of the next episode right now. This is basically what you guys will see in the next episode. I filmed this, I don't know what I was doing, I think I was testing some kind of graphics thing. So I filmed this specifically for my eyes only. Um, I saw it on my USB just now, I thought, you know what, I'll just add it in as a little thing for you guys if you watch till the end. So I'm not really showing too much, but you can see it, how it kind of looks. There's a lot of apartment buildings, there's some office and commercial. Um, at this point, everyone is just moving in. But that's all I'm going to show you guys, so come back in the next episode and we'll go through it in a lot of detail. Bye guys!